Okay, so we're going to go into our tools, into our title tool application, and we're going to go into the marquee tool, and we're going to do another title, this time a horizontal title, which we're going to do an effect horizontally to the title. So we're going to go into our tool sets to basic animation. If you were an expert, then switch over. We're going to type our text in. This one is going to be directed by. Let's use our edit tool to place that where we want it. Let's place it down, down here. And after we have that, we can enable the lighting on it in the gradient. And let's map this gradient to the container so that it's contained within that text. And then we're going to add some edge properties to it. We'll also enable the lighting in the gradient. And let's make this red. OK. So after we've got that set, we don't really need to set the container. We can also change the edge type, though and this will give it a different look. So let's go to frame. <clears throat> yeah, I don't really like the frame. Let's try emboss. So just go ahead and pick one that you like. Let's see water. And once you have the light the look that you want, then let's go into the light tool. So click on that and there's one light by default. We want to put a light on this text. So we're going to go down here, and we will uh, control right click, and we'll click on Add Light. And then with this light, I want it to be a spotlight on this. So again, I'm going to right click on this, and when when you actually right click on this, hit your control right click and you can change a light type. And we're going to change this to a spotlight. So let's make the spotlight start on, on this right here. And I want it to go across this. So to do that, I'm going to turn on the animation mode and then I'm going to take this parameter and go down here to my timeline and go to where I want it. And I'm going to go to three seconds. Nah, a little faster. Right, right about there. Now that I have that and my animations turned on, I can grab this and I can drag it across and I'll have it end over, over here. So we can drag this back and we can hit play and we can test that out. So when we're finished with that, we can quit the marquee tool. And we can save this out to our bin and implement it into our project. Okay, save that out. Make sure that you have your video 2 track or whatever your highest track level is selected. And choose your endpoint, your out point. There 
Edit that into your project. That's a paper cup. You're That's it.